Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys my review of the Blacksmith Labs leather holster for the Nexus 5. And now they also sell leather holsters for all kinds of different phones. You can view them on their website. And they have a bunch of different collections. This is from the Bruno collection. And I'm pretty sure this is the dark chestnut color or just the chestnut. I mean, you can view it on their website if you want to see the actual names. Um, but this is the one that I have for review. And my Nexus 5 is actually inside of it right now. Um, but it is a leather holster. And you can see, clip on the back, clip it to your pants, your belt buckle, really, whatever. Well, not your belt buckle, but your belt whatever you want to clip it on. Um, it doesn't really have a button, like metal button to button. It just kind of has this little, I guess it still is a button, um, but you flip the leather flap, flip the leather flap um, over top of it and put it on and it doesn't fall out and doesn't come undone unless you actually pull it. And the uh, nice thing about having an open top like this is that if you want to, you can kind of scoot your phone over and still use the headphone jack if you want to. Um, you really can't charge it while it's in here. I wouldn't suggest charging your phone while it's in the case anyways. Uh, because it would just get overheated and that's just not a good situation. Uh, but your speaker ports are open in case you wanted to listen to music while it's in the case. Um, we're going to be seeing some close-up shots throughout this video as well. I have some of the unboxing of it, a really quick unboxing. I'm just showing you what the packaging was like. I'm um, just showing you some closer-up shots of this actual leather holster. And I'm not a big holster person myself. I really never used them before. Um, I know some other people that are holster fans and this would be great for them. Um, but it kind of grew on me. I kind of liked having it. Um, it was It's a nice thing to have if you want to take your phone in and out of a protective case really quick. Um, sometimes I did have it clipped onto my belt. Sometimes I just had it in my pocket and I can just easily flip the flap open, take out my phone, set it on the desk. Um, that's what I would do um, if I'm at home working on the computer, come home, take the phone out, set it on my desk. Because I do like having my phone without a case because I do like the way the Nexus 5 looks but I also like having the protection of a case and this is just really simple and easy to take the phone in and out of it um, but like I said not a huge holster fan but I do like this holster um, I think it does work very well um, the only thing is it has a couple scratches on it just from everyday use and they're kind of visible most little minor scratches kind of just like you could rub them out kind of um, but some of these are a little bit deeper scratches they aren't really going away but I guess it's better to scratch this than to scratch my phone. Uh, but you can see in some of the closer shots some of the scratches that have appeared. But it seems to be made of very solid material. The threading's really good. Um, it hasn't frayed or anything. Um, everything is complete 100% leather, except for, of course, you know, the thread, the clip, and the little button. Everything else is leather. Um, one thing I would like, though, is if you could take off the clip. That way I could just slip it in my pocket as like a little slip case so you can just slip the phone in and out. Um, but you can't take off the clip, which is unfortunate, unless there's a way I know how to do it. I've tried and I looked on the website and you can't really take off the clip. Um, but it would be nice if you could. The clip itself, very, very sturdy. Um, you have two choices of clip, guller, guller, gold color and gunmetal. And it has all these different points where you can click into it. Um, I'm not sure how many exactly, but there's a click. You can hear the different clicks and you can pretty much clip it on your belt however, belt however way you want. And so that is nice. In terms of protection, um, it's going to protect your device pretty well. It's going to protect it from any kind of scratches. Obviously, you see scratches on here. Um, it's going to protect you from, you know, keys in your pocket. Um, it's going to give you a little bit of fall protection. I wouldn't say a lot because, I mean, there's not really a lot of padding here. It's just um, some pieces of leather. Um, and so if you are a fan of holsters, I would definitely suggest it because it is a great quality. Um, it's solid and my phone definitely feels protected in it. It fits the Nexus 5 just right and that's what the phone was for. And I just really like it in terms of a holster. If you're more of just a regular case person, you don't really want the holster, I would just, I would skip out on this one because you can't take the clip off. If you could take the clip off, um, I'd like it a lot more. Uh, but if you're just a regular case guy, you don't want, or girl, and you don't want a holster, I would just skip this because, you know, you're not going to use the holster. And it does kind of make it a little bit thick with the holster um, but, you know, most people don't stick it in their pocket. If they have a holster, they stick it on their belt clip. Um, this is $79 on their website. You know, it might change down the road. I don't know. Uh, but this version here is $79. They also have a higher line that's like $119. But the line in the Bruno line, these are all $79, I know for sure. I um, mean, I'll put some links in the description below. They have some for the iPhone, um, the HTC M8, the Samsung Galaxy S5, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But I'll put the links down in the description below. And so that's going to wrap up this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Also comment down below. Let me know what you think about the Blacksmith Labs Bruno Leather Holster. And let me know if you're going to pick it up or if you have one like this or have this or something similar to this. Um, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, if you like holsters, it's a great buy. 
Um, and it's genuine leather too. And genuine leather is pretty expensive. I think I'm not a huge leather person, so I don't really know. Um, but I know it's not cheap. But $79, you know, it's a pretty solid uh, piece of leather material case thing. I don't know how else to describe it. It's a holster. If you like holsters, pick it up. If you don't, skip it, go to the next thing. And so that's it for this video. I've rambled on long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and follow me on all my social links below. Thank you so much for watching again, and we'll see you guys in the next video.